Dream big because dreams do happen, says Alex Morgan. St. Ignatius of Loyola dreamt big without fear to save all souls through the church. His dream was that his followers should strive for church united by a determination to make the good news relevant to every human being. A church with mutual respect for one another and openness for reformation, rowing into the deep with the spirit of discernment to see all things with a new eye. Yes, it is an Ignatian dream for the church. Ignatius had decided to spend a year without saying Mass after he became a priest, preparing himself and praying to Our Lady to deign to place him with her son. One day, a few miles before reaching Rome, he was at prayer in a church and experienced such a change in his soul. And so, so clearly that God the Father placed him with Christ his Son, that he would not dare doubt it. Vatican II envisaged church as people of God whose heart is Jesus. For Ignatius, Jesus was the center of his life. It was his ardent love for Jesus that made him a true man of the church. He was well aware of the weakness of its hierarchy, yet he submitted himself as a loyal soldier of the church. His dream was to see the same love for Jesus in the missionary zeal of the sons of the society. It is this love for Jesus and the Church that made Father Arupe acclaim that Jesus is everything to me. It is this love for Jesus that enabled him to reach out to the peripheries. Moreover, Pope Francis' vision of Synodal Church springs from the Ignatian new vision for the Church and his ardent love for Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord to help us embrace the Ignatian dream for the Church, stretching off all the inordinate passions and desires, to take the Church to newer vistas where only the Kingdom values prevail. O oh God, you chose St. Ignatius to be your servant, to do greater things for Christ through the Church under the banner of the cross. Today, we see the newness in the Church through Pope Francis, a true follower of Ignatius, to show the world that to be with the Church is to be with the people in and through the process of synodality. Continue to accompany us. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>